Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and today welcome to our discussion on some Orion MotorTech Extra Long Box End Ratcheting Wrench Sets with Flex Heads that go for $74.99 Prime on Amazon. They are 8 to 19 millimeter less the 9 and 11 millimeter wrench. Now we are discussing these against the Tecton WNR77164 extra long flex head ratcheting box end wrenches that go complete from 8 to 19 millimeter. Now that we're comparing a five piece set to a six piece set and our discussion stems around would you buy the Orion set basically because it's on Amazon. They don't make any other wrenches. They make a lot of different parts and maybe they, they don't make anything. Maybe they just sell it. We don't have Which, a lot of backup. Like you say, you cannot find their name on this wrench anywhere. Nowhere. But if you line it up to the Texan, if you didn't know the difference between the two, you might not be able to tell the difference. There is some differences. We'll go over them later. But at first look. First look. Once you study a little bit, you can tell that they're not made from the same exact mold. Right. They're close. The Tectons are a six point. The Orions are a 12 point. Uh, you do get one more wrench. You get the nine and the 11 out of the Tecton. You got a, a nice foam case to stand them up in your toolbox there. With the Orions. With the Orions. So we were discussing earlier, basically, Amazon has opened up this whole box of <clears throat> parts and pieces from companies that are unknown. You can get a lot of great things on Amazon, but if you want to search, you can also find a lot of people or com companies selling parts and pieces that you don't really know where they came from. And I think this is a great example. They didn't even put their name on it. No, and like you said, who would get into manufacturing wrenches but only do one no. set, metric only, and that's the only wrenches they sell? These are obviously picked up from somewhere else. These are made and somebody else puts their name on them. We don't know who. No. We wish we did. We thought we found it when we had the Tectons, but that's not exactly it. The big discussion, $74.99. We don't know how well the warranty is because we don't know if they'll be around. Compared to $124.99 for this Tecton kit, we know that they're owned by Michigan Industrial and on a phone call we can get a new set if they break. Earlier in your discussion, would you, which set would you buy? I told you earlier that I would have no problem buying this for the simple fact of what tool it actually is. It's not a daily use tool for me. It's gonna be a specialty thing every once in a while you need it. I wouldn't have a problem spending the money on these versus the more money on that for something that's gonna sit in the toolbox 98% of its life. And my position is they didn't even, they weren't even willing to put their name on the tool. Maybe and I put my name on it. Then. Look you, they do sell laser engravers. That's right. So, so you can do that, put your own name on it. In my case, I still would spend the money, even if I'm not going to use this tool on a daily basis, only because when I do pull it out, I want it to work, which is, may not be the case. Those may work all the time when you pull them out. Mm. It's a thing if I break it, I make a phone call and I get it fixed. I don't think that the head diameter, which we'll go over a little bit later, is going to change anything on where these are gonna work and where they're not. It's more of a matter of warranty. And I still can't believe that they're picking up a set of wrenches and that's the only thing they sell. Yeah, that's hard to take. That, that throws me off. I mean, if you want some why, air conditioning we, stuff, they have that. <laughs> they, have air, they have parts for um, ball joints. They have all kinds of tools for those things, but they must be just buying these things up. Whatever they get a run on that's cheap and selling them under their name or what? So if you have experience with things like this on Amazon, if you have experiences what you would buy, what you wouldn't buy, like in Jeff's case, he would save almost half price and go here. If you have experiences with Orion Motor Tech, let leave, us know. Help us out. Now we're going to dive in a little bit. We're going to show you some of the differences between these two tools and just give you a basic overview. Taking a closer look between the Orion and the Tecton, you'll see that Tecton is stamped where the Orion's more of a laser etching on them. But a very close comparison, they, they're very similar. The Tecton has a six point, the Orion has a 12 point. The head size are slightly different, 
the head on the Orion is a little thicker, a little wider than the tectin. But then where you come into the knuckle, the tectin seems like there's a little more material than the Orion. The thickness of the handles are very similar. The width of the tectin is slightly wider. But other than that, there isn't a lot of difference between these two wrenches. So when it really comes down to this, it's how much money are you willing to spend for one extra wrench and for somebody to put their name on it and stand behind it. If that name is what makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, knock yourself out. I'm not saying that Texan has the best name in the business, but I do know that they're at least in more places than Orion you know, Motorsports. We, we definitely know that, but I think the performance between the two of them are gonna be pretty comparable. We're on two ends of the spectrum here. You know, if we were comparing these to Snap-on, uh, it would be two different things. These are both going to be a, a DIY set, not going to be used every day. I guess you guys tell us, leave us in the comments, pick your brand, hashtag Workshop Addict. Uh, let us know. We might have a giveaway coming up. You never know. You can get in a couple extra times on that. Also stop by workshopaddict.com. We have a blog and I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to our channel and give us a like on this video. We always appreciate your time. Have a great day.